Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. So, in the last episode, we completed the railway, uh, closed this portal to the train, and the Lisa and, I believe, Edward was his name, were reunited. So, what is here? Oh. Here a corkscrew. These things belong to Sammy. I'll leave him alone, as I have to find out what's going on in the kitchen. Okay. Ruler. Okay. So it looks like that's it for him. And again, I think these things are like, um... Just lore and filler content because um, we had stuff like this on the train to just fill the lore, like the cabinet. Um, we could open and close that had the things like the wedding gifts, but uh, and that's really cool to have that. But sometimes it can get confusing. Like, is this important? <laughs> so uh, you never know. But I enjoy those added details and features that a game has it really bring it really brings the game to life okay so we have a lighter a firecracker apple corkscrew and a ruler let's see this is the flower pattern put something through here we go what is in here oh it looks like the kitchen and then, um, it did say in Sammy's room that we need to do something in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, that looks like the bottle she wants. I just slice off a piece of cheese. Hmm. Is this what she's looking for? Hot cup. Okay. Is a hot cup? Is that just wine in general? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. I don't, I don't drink, you guys, so I'm confused. Okay, I'm back, and yeah, for if those of you uh, who are like me and you don't drink or you're not familiar with liquor terms, um, hock is pretty much it's a type of wine that involves fruit or fruit juices so that's interesting we learned something okay let's go in here we have a pot and another portrait okay anything else Maybe a handle for that start a fire okay we don't have any wood for that Oh, okay, we have a knife, mm, that's about it, from the drawer. We're picking up a lot of items. It's a nutcracker. Okay, don't have a nut. Oh, uh, there's another Beyond item. And there's something back here. Ooh. Again, I love the art in this game. It's so great. Okay, we have chamomile, which looks like the flower we need in the dining room. Another Beyond item. So I didn't do anything. Here's a newspaper. Price the statue sold at Crispy Auction. An anonymous buyer has purchased one of the most valuable modern statues. Who's the lucky new owner of the masterpiece? Okay, apparently the Lancaster family, since we're in that mansion, and that's the statue that's in the dining room. So, what is this? This contraption is missing one part. I don't think we have that. Okay, but we still have the lighter. Let give, let's give the hawk cup to her, because she asked for that. Thank 
Thank you, darling. I can't deal with this ghost. It's too wild. And it seems to be missing something. I don't know how that could be possible. I would be grateful for your help. Okay, so the ghost drove her to drink. <laughs> okay, let's do the hidden object scene. There's the flag, it's like a checkered flag. Now we need is the chess piece. There it is. It's the knight. Okay, we have a telescope. And there was a telescope somewhere. But we can put this camel mile up here. Okay, we're still missing one more flower. But we have a portrait. So let's go to the portrait room. that up there. Okay, it's on that side of the family. Interesting to know, I'm interested to know if there's a difference between both sides or we're just filling in random faces. Because I would love to know who these people are. Knife, telescope, okay. Okay. So we have something on the statue. Aha! The statue in the newspaper and the marble statue in the dining room are one and the same. Mr. Gabriel was a stranger who purchased it. I'm sure he brought it here for a reason. I'd like to know why it looks so creepy. But let's go to the map. Where else can we go? We can go back to the kitchen. Oh, we have the knife so we can slice ourselves a bit of cheese. Okay. We have a piece of cheese, and we have a cork! Okay, and we still have the knife. That's convenient. Can we do something here? Or no? Let's see... Okay, we're still needed in the kitchen. A nutcracker. Don't have wood. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. This needs a handle. Should we put the pot? okay the pot goes there? Okay. Is that it? Yes. Okay. To the boys' room. Did he? Oh, he has the telescope. Hey, Sammy. It's gonna set up your telescope. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. We made a note about that. Swan constellation. In addition to everything else, Sammy is interested in astronomy. Where does he find the time? He's a genius! Well, considering he's a boy, he doesn't have a day job, so yes, that's where he finds the time. Okay, so we have now... Oh, we still have stuff to do in his room. Is it? Okay, I think... There's something to do with this bird and the swan constellation. One, two, three, four. One and two on each side. Yay! Okay! That's a neat puzzle! We have a piece of a hose. Sorry we took apart your bird, Sammy. Okay, so... Now we need to go to the elevator? 
Oh, that must be what's missing. Good trunk. Oh. Wait, did that bring this room here or... Oh, I think we were inside of an elevator. That's odd. Hey, there's a hidden object scene, but let's look around. To the madhouse. The police recently found an intruder in the Tower of London. He was wearing Chinese pajamas and a nightcap. The trespasser said he wasn't trying to steal the treasures of the royal family, but had simply imagined himself being in the tower after reading about it in a novel. The next thing he knew, a passage leading to the dungeon beneath the tower appeared on his bedroom wall. This sounds like the ravings of a madman. The authorities sent Mr. N to the local insane asylum for treatment. P.S. While I was working on this article, Mr. N disappeared from the asylum. He left behind a huge Ars Gnosis in which he described a house of a thousand windows or something along those lines. Or house of a thousand doors. Let's see. Look at all of this food. It's a shame it's all gone bad. Where are the owners of this place? Okay. As I said, she has like... Um commentary on everything but let's see so we read the article and he has a diamond shaped key we have a sled he needs a cross shaped key star key and we have the hidden object scene okay but there's the rose This is it. We have a rose. Any other place besides the locked areas? No. Okay. Oh, we have a broom. Yeah, that story. So where to? I have a feeling we can go back to. Okay, open this up. We have a feeling we can go back to the dining hall. Okay, and we can go back to the still stuff here to do. Let's go back to the dining hall. We can put the rose up here. Looks like we need to arrange them. So. Da -da -da. Rose tulip. Where is it? Oh no. There we go. Okay. There's a Okay, we have to sweep this out. Okay, there's a portrait. What is that? A hook? And another newspaper article. Cool photo. Children of the Astral Plane. Renowned anthropologist Ambrosius Luris has told us about a mysterious phenomenon, child spiritism. He says young boys and girls can communicate with the spiritual realm with the help of special items. Luris described more than 10 documented cases. He declined to answer one question though. Why did he carry out the study? Are foreign infiltrators trying to dumb down our children and ruin the future of our country? Larice insists on conducting further studies, but the parents are refusing to allow their children to take part. Okay. Looks like that's it for this. Okay, so we have something about the power of thought. Power, okay. Ah. Power of thought. I can't believe my eyes. Is that freaking the tabloid Saman? It looks like him. He can open portals between worlds with his thoughts. That's probably how he came to be in the house of a thousand doors. That really is the guy, huh? Gifted kids. Kids and ghosts? 
The whole thing sounds creepy. However, as I know, some ghosts are harmless and even need help. Thank you, Sammy, for what you have shown me. Okay, so... Okay, so we can go back to the portrait room. <laughs> Uh, oh, we have a skull key. It's pretty cool. Okay, and let's do stuff in the dining hall, but let's go back to the cellar. Because there was something there we could do. Skull shaped key. Uh, no. Okay. Hook. Rotten meat, yuck! I'm pretty sure it smells horrid in here. Not sure where to go. Okay, there's Beyond Argent. Was that what they wanted us to find? No. Piece of cheese to lure out a mouse. Oh, that's it. We have a mouse. Oh, I hope we don't have to hurt the mouse. Okay, dining hall. What's wrong with the statue? Let's see. Oh, could be something here? Looks like it could match. It does. Is it another portal? That looks like another portal. Let's hop on in. Wow. This is both beautiful and terrifying. Hey, we have an egg. And a ladle. Okay. <laughs> Thing in the foreground. Nope. There's the door. Ah, gear. Another newspaper article. A crack in the heart. The citizens of Snow Village. Okay, so we're in Snow Village. Continue to discuss the recent tragedy involving local sculptor Ned Stark. Really? Ned Stark? <laughs> okay. Um, like I said, I haven't I haven't seen Game of Thrones, but um I know Stark is one of the houses. He and his young wife lived on the outskirts of town and preferred to be left alone. They had plenty of money as statues by Stark were popular throughout Europe and North America and brought a good price at auctions. However, Stark's popularity didn't protect his family from misfortune. Sylvia, his wife, was ice skating on Alder Aldarian Lake when she fell through the ice and drowned. Since her death, Ned hasn't appeared in public. There are no signs of life at his estate. What's happened to him? Okay. So, let's see. Looks like we need a key to get in. And we wrote about that in our journal. Called Cracked in the Heart. The sculptor's wife drowned when she fell through the ice covering a frozen lake. How tragic. Happiness is as fragile as a butterfly's wings. That's a good analogy. Okay, 
Found another beyond object. Hidden object scene. Okay. Oh. Okay, number seven. We have a silver skull. Don't know what we need that for. Ooh, didn't even see this. We can we have a lighter. We have a bunch of stuff. Okay, so don't have anything to melt the ice. We don't have a key either. What's back there? A uh, cemetery. Okay. Oh, is that the hole where she fell? Oh. Two broken hearts. Those are the graves of the sculptor and his wife. Those lovebirds lived happily and dreamed of dying together one day, but fate had other ideas, and they died on different dates. How sad. Heart-shaped stone is missing. Okay. It took a while to load up, so I thought there would be a cutscene. We don't have a heart-shaped stone. We can actually take a closer look at the hole. Tongs in the water. We don't have anything. We have a hook, but we need to attach that to something. And yeah. Oh, those are fish right there. Okay, where can we go? To the yard. Well, perhaps I could use that incline and that stone to my advantage. We do have a sled. Oh! We're gonna ram something? We are just breaking and entering, okay! There's a hidden object scene. And where it looks like this is a studio. Sculptor's workshop. There are a lot of statues in the sculptor's workshop, but many of them are unfinished. It's just as though the creator went mad. Judging by the noose hanging from the ceiling, he was also suicidal. But they didn't mention him committing suicide. Chair and a noose. Was the sculptor about to hang himself? Chairs tipped over. need to close the beast's mouth. Um, we have a cork. Okay, what did that do? Scoop it out. It's another skull. Golden skull! That matches our silver skull. Remove the pile of rocks. Uh, we don't have anything for that. Grinding stone. No, we don't have a, anything for that. I'm missing a gear. Here's a gear. Attach a stone to the rope. Okay. Let's do the hidden object scene. There's the bell. And there's the cockroach. Okay. Okay, fishing rod. Attach a stone. Okay, we don't have a stone. Still, we'll do more stuff here. We can do stuff in the cemetery as well. Okay. 
Oops, it's still looking at. Yeah, that's still the cemetery. But we can use the fishing rod now to get this out. <laughs> okay, so we have, now we have the tongs. There's another beyond object. <laughs> the workshop. Can the hook be used for anything? Oh. That's why I figured it kept saying you need a stone. Clean that up. Who's that? Oh, I just noticed that. It's a portrait. And we have a key. Okay. I think that's the key to the house. It is. Okay, but we will enter the house in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!